What you guys today we're going to be taking a look at error 43 which is an error for your graphics card it's going to device manager here and I'll show you what it looks like as you can see here we've got an RX 480 graphics card with a yellow triangle and uh, even if you try to uninstall the driver and reinstall the driver it won't work because Windows has stopped this device working because it's been reported as problems and it's give it an error code 43 now this normally points to um, someone that has flashed a BIOS on this card uh, because it's been probably an ex mining card and they probably wanted to lower the voltages and stuff like that so probably that's what I would uh, suggest they've done and the only way you're going to get this working is to reflash the BIOS and if you don't have that original BIOS you're going to have to use one on the internet which is one of these ones here now you can use AMD ATI ATI flash which is a program which allows you to uh, back up and also flash your BIOS now if you don't have an original BIOS again you're going to have to use the ones which I found on this site here which gives you an array of um, different types of BIOSes for uh, different types of cards you just do a search for them and you can see that down the bottom these do all the ATI uh, cards here now it's not advisable to flash your BIOS uh, firmware on your graphics card uh, because obviously you don't know what you're flashing it with if you've got an original uh, BIOS backup then you can use that you can download uh, BIOSes uh, for those cards here Sapphire, Asus, MSI, XFX and so on but the problem is uh, you don't know where these have come from are they originals are they of a trusted source and stuff like that that's what you've got to be careful of and uh, we don't know uh, whether this is going to uh, resolve our issue now the reason why they flash the BIOS in the first place is to lower the voltage and to get uh, lower temps and stuff like that on their uh, cards so they undervolt them and sometimes uh, that's what they're using it for but the problem is because uh, you've now flashed the BIOS or firmware it doesn't recognize that uh, when you plug it into the computer so you have to use a patch which I'm going to show you here this is some sort of patch that you're going to have to use it's called uh, ATI uh, KMDAG uh, patcher and this is going to patch the uh, the computer to make the card recognizable to Windows 10 so let me extract this here and put this onto the folder here and then we can run this patcher now again I don't know where this patch has come from I don't know the source of this patcher I'm just doing this to show you this is what I did to get it to recognize you can see it's an unrecognized publisher and uh, these can be uh, very dangerous to run on your computer. You can see here we've got the AMD ATI pixel check uh, patcher, or pixel clock patcher, sorry, uh, 1.46, uh, 64-bit uh, driver found, and you can see it's found all these here, and it wants to patch those values. So say yes, and it's going to patch those values. Now again, once, that, once that's done, what we can do here is uh, reboot the system and uh, you can see it's patched and signed now now Windows should recognize this card as uh, what it should be an RX 480 and you can check that by looking at GPU Z and uh, this will tell you all the information and validate that card but what I'm gonna do here is uh, close this off and uh, reboot the system uh, because uh, we need that patch to be recognized here so let me just close these windows off and restart uh, the computer here now sometimes you can go into device manager here and uh, do a scan for hardware changes and hopefully this might work if it doesn't I'll reboot the system and uh, as you can see here do a quick scan and it's still showing up as a red triangle so let me quickly reboot the system and uh, hopefully that issue has now been resolved so I'll quickly reboot and uh, get back to the desktop there we go so she's booting up and what we're going to do now is go to device manager and check to see whether our card has been patched and recognized now by Windows 10 and it should fully work the way it should be there you go it has recognized it and now we can change the resolution and go back to uh, having a working card now the problem I can see with this is if you don't have the original BIOS for that card 
then you aren't going to be able to flash it back to its uh, default state where it would automatically recognize the card and you won't have to go through this patching process so if you are buying secondhand cards or used cards on ebay be very careful because even though uh, they are um, cards that are functional once you've got them all patched they might not be what you was after and if it was me i would just return them if you got one of those uh, mining cards unless you're buying it as an ex mining card then you must understand it. it may have been tampered with like this one here so if they haven't been uh, fully um, clear in the description of that selling of that item and you not wanting that item because it's been tampered with then i would uh, definitely send it back but if they have been clear about it and you bought it then you may run into problems like this and this is why i've made that video anyway sorry about my voice i've got a virus infection um but anyway i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great weekend guys and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.